The threat is still here. Those are the words used by Governor Andy Bashir when just three days after the insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, an armed militia rally made its way to the steps of the Kentucky Capitol on Saturday. That's where attendees even took a marching lap for one of the people shot to death while attempting to breach the chambers of Congress. That's right, honoring someone that attacked our country. And they came prepared. Hundreds rallied in Frankfurt Saturday, some with full tactical gear and army fatigues with zip ties similar to what the nation and the world witnessed on Wednesday, January 6th. Governor Bashir singled out this man pictured here, describing what he says was his clear intent to intimidate and potentially kidnap. I believe when asked, he said, just in case. These are not the actions of people who believe in this country and in the rule of law. It's people who believe they can take the law into their own hands and bully and intimidate other individuals. This comes as the FBI issued a warning Monday of plans for armed protests at all 50 state capitals and in Washington, D.C., leading up to President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration on January 20th. That internal FBI bulletin also warns that the nationwide protests may start later this week as investigators believe some of the people are members of extremist groups. Governor Bashir vowing that the state police and others will do whatever is necessary to protect the state capitol. But if those individuals are listening, first, shame on you. My goodness, you're not a patriot, you're a thug and a terrorist. But we will not allow what happened at the U.S. Capitol to happen here. Stefan Dingle, WOKY News.